Bom Sori Kim. Hi. Thank you so much for coming Hi. to Copenhagen. Thank you. Working so and, and recording with us. Uh, it's, it's wonderful to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. How did your life as a musician start? Was uh, a defining moment. I, I know that you started playing the violin when you were five. Oh yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> then <started>. after that. <laughs> after that, um, I think how I started was um, my parents loved music very much, and they often uh, went to concerts, live concerts, and brought their kids, my sister and my brother as well. But one concert at, at a, a concert of the legendary Korean violinist Kyung Hwa Chung. Mm. Um, I s still remember the moment that I was very shocked in her concert um, because the sound was not like um, anything else. It was like I felt like the violin sound spoke to me directly, to my heart, and I was even shocked and I was totally speechless and I, I don't remember this part, but they told me that I almost cried uh, in the how, concert. How old were you then? Five. Five, yes. Yeah. And what did she play? Uh, she played Vivaldi. Okay. Vivaldi. Yeah. And I was very moved, um, apparently. And then I asked my parents to, because I was also, also playing piano as well, but I wanted to do this very mysterious instrument. <laughs> Um, so that's how I started. You sit there with your uh, your beautiful violin, yeah. great sound. My uh, love. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's a when you play, it's it's like it's a part of your body. Actually, it's like you have adapted the violin, or all the violin have adapted you. I don't know. Yeah, it feels like my part of body. That's why it's very comfortable just yeah to holding this everywhere, anywhere actually, and also this is my voice as well. And it's like a mi microphone. You can just speak through this violin and it will translate uh, nicely, the nicest way to people and it can communicate with people. I mean, this makes the power and the sound. <laughs> It looks when you play that mm -hmm. you almost mm -hmm. don't touch the violin. It's like you are dancing mm -hmm. uh -huh. on your violin. It's very beautiful actually, mm -hmm. but the sound is, is huge. Mm -hmm. So it must be a very good cooperation between you and the violin. And the violin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't use any power. Ah. It looks <laughs> like you don't use. Oh, that's you, great. Or you, one could say you yeah. use exactly the power you need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's actually always our worries and concern because we always have to control our... Because I don't want to be harsh <laughs> to to my violin and force or anything. So we always have really good time to adjust the feeling. Even this is my... I mean, this is the part of my body, but I still have to negotiate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I still have to have the agreement that I will play like this. <laughs> and after the agreement, um, I can just use freely as much as possible. And I can really dance on the stage. Mm -hmm. and, and you do. And when I do that, it's so much more natural and powerful. And it's more, it's, it delivers more than, yeah, just playing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs>